All right, so today we're going to talk about grid bot trading. Okay, so what, what is it? Okay, so put it this way, guys. So we're looking at M ETH, which is one thousandth of an ETH here. What we're looking at is see at these red lines here, we're going to then sell. If the price has reached these red lines, we're going to sell our position. And if the price has reached the green lines, we're going to start buying. So it's basically completely contrarian. And have a think about what this achieves, right? Then you can actually lock in profits every time it goes up and then lock in opportunities every time it goes down. And you can set a maximum for where this happens and the minimum for where this happens and and lo and behold the maximum and the minimum for me is 20k and the lowest is two thousand dollars what's really interesting is even in a bearish market you know never does the stock market right or, or any market drop straight down like that it usually goes down like this down up down up down up down that's what happens and even in the downwards market you can capture these ups Right, which then you know safeguards any of the any of the big losses that you might still have. So that's why grid strategy really really works. That's what this grid trading means. And Pinex offers it. There's other companies that offer it, but I think Pinex is is kind of the leading one. You can set these parameters in. So it's not a bot that's like, oh, this bot is proven to make this much money per year or whatever. No, no, no. You set your own parameters in. And there are two strategies for this kind of stuff. So you go to the grid trading and you set it all up. The coin that I used to invest into was this was this called WNXM. I don't know what it is. The only reason why I did this was because it had a lot of fluctuation and I kept the kept the grids really nice and tight. Many, many, many trades. And so that's how you can make a lot of trades and, and but you keep the ranges nice and short, uh, tight. And then you obviously keep an eye on this every single time, you know, you, you can you can keep an eye on it, right? So make sure that your prices aren't completely out of the bounds and things like that. So that's what grid trading is, guys. So what I have set up here is what I think is the best for the long-term strategy. What this is, is basically orders, right, that are set quite a fair bit apart, like 6%, 8%, 11%, 7%, 9%, 11%, percent sort of apart with each other, right? So each transaction, I'm making those kind of percentages, which is pretty good. And I don't really have to watch it, you know what I mean? And this is a better way to hodl if you're going to hodl, because if the price then goes up, right? So say in this chart, you could have made, you could have bought it here, right? And then you could have sold it here, then which would get you this sort of gains right here. But in the grid trading, you could capture the, the profits up here like this and then you can reposition your opportunities again like so and you can capture the gains like so right so this gain and this gain is added to each other so you're basically getting you know whatever that is and added on top this much of the gains which is more gains than what you would have originally gotten like so and not to mention this gain here is extremely hard to get to be able to time that and then time that as well like you got to be a seriously good trader to be able to do something like that so grid trading allows you to be able to capture those gains and that's why i'm doing it yeah he's showing some losses but i don't really care because obviously what goes up must come down so that's how I am trading with Gridbox. And I think Pinex does a really good job of doing it. So how do we then actually go about setting that up? Well, here it is, guys. You can just press ETH Moon and then just go, you know, put your available balance in there and boom, press create. What I like to do is I like to put in a grid trading bot. So press create, use manual setting, press the loss price at $2,000 and, you know, $20,000 on the upper limit. Uh, and I'll put in, you know, say 200 grids. And you know, I'm between 0.35% to 4.42%. Now, you can expand that and put it on a geometric percentage so that every grid is like 1% or something. But arithmetic, I think, basically means like it's like a sequence. There's like a there's like an information here. So it's it's not 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 1, 2, 4, 8. So it, like it sort of jumps in, you know, in, in the increments. Like it sort of doubles and, you know, it, it's like it's exponents. So it's really up to you whatever you choose. I've chosen arithmetic for, you know, so that I can capture bigger gains when there's greater volatilities and whatnot. And then you just basically attribute a certain amount of money and then you basically set the trade and away you go. Once it goes in, okay, so I've actually traded in MEs because of, you know, because these things are a lot easier to identify. And you can press this, this I button here. Then you can see all the orders in there so that you can then understand when the trades are going to be activating and how much profit you're going to unlock at each time. I think the best gold mine is to find an asset, like, you know, it, it's up to you, but I think the best gold mine is to find an asset, right? Where the price of the asset does this, literally just move sideways. So it's basically money here, money here, money here, money here, money here. I mean, that would be ideal, right? So it doesn't completely fall out, you know, out of your ass and it doesn't completely moon out of your proportion as well. Although that is not a bad thing. If it moves completely out of your ranges, then, you know, you're obviously going to make money, right? But I think that would be the ideal kind of asset. But, you know, things like that don't really exist. That's why out of the people that I have talked to, 
they've set a pretty big range. That's what they use. And as you can see, I've set it up so that it's between $2,000 and all the way up to $20,000, guys. That's how I grid trade, guys. It's pretty simple to do. And to get started, obviously, you need some money in there. Press deposit, go and buy some USDT on you know, Binance or Qcoin or wherever the heck you get you know, cryptocurrency from. And make sure you choose a blockchain that costs the least to transfer. Make sure you send and receive in the same blockchains, of course. You guys obviously know how to do that. And you can get yourself started with Pinex, which is which I think is a pretty freaking sick platform to do it in. There are other platforms that offer it, but I think Pinex does a, does a pretty clear and straightforward job. Give it a go, guys. You know, at least you can put some amount of money in there and see what happens. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you go like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Peace.